Hey Spice Lovers! Today I'm going to be showing you how to make apple pie with very crumbly crust and moist delicious apple filling. It's so good. You'll need the following ingredients for this recipe. First, half the flour in the bowl, then sugar and salt, and then the butter. Now mix until combined. Then add in the rest of the flour and mix some more until well combined. Then ice water a tablespoon at a time, mixing until a dough is formed. Now transfer onto the countertop and knead some more, adding a little more flour and some more tablespoons of water. We want a very crumbly base, so we'll be adding less water than is typical. Once done kneading, divide into two, wrap and store for later. For the filling, start by melting some butter over medium heat, then add some flour and mix in. Then my secret ingredient, apple cider, then some sugar, reduce the heat to low and keep stirring until it's all fully combined. Add in a tablespoon of water as you whisk to balance out the apple cider vinegar. Then turn off the heat and set aside. Next, core out and slice some granny apples thinly. Now mix the apple slices with your cinnamon until it's well distributed. Then pour the melted butter mixture over the spiced apple slices and mix again until well distributed. Set aside and preheat the oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. Next, for the pie base, I'm using a 12 inch pie tin. The dough is so crumbly it doesn't roll out, so we'll be builder bearing it. We want it to be smooth and even. Then, pour in the spiced apple slices and spread evenly. Then set aside. Now, for the top pie crust, we need to be able to roll it out, so I'm adding a little more water and flour and kneading until it's able to stretch out without tearing while still remaining smooth. Once that's done, roll it out on a floured surface with the help of a rolling pin. Then transfer onto the pie. Normally, it's best to roll it into a 14 inch dough because it makes the process easier. But I didn't feel like measuring, so I'm going to be doing some patchwork. Next, it's time to design. For this, you can get a little creative. Just make sure to leave holes in the dough so the bubbles can escape when the filling boils. For me, I didn't want the typical design, but I didn't have any in mind, so I just went with the flow and did whatever felt good in the moment. As you can see, I'm using a fork to poke holes in certain areas. Once you're satisfied with it, whisk an egg and brush the top of the pie. This is to give it a golden brown color. Finally, put it in the oven and bake for 15 minutes, then reduce the heat to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and bake for another 45 minutes. Rest at room temperature for at least an hour before serving. Please give me a like and follow if you like my content and would like to see more. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.